messed with the cadres for the eighth time just today. Oh no, my house. Wanna know something? I'm gonna get back at those villagers by trolling them in the ten worst ways. I'm gonna break them into little pieces. But the first prank is, I came here to the villagers' cave. They are exchanging these emeralds that they keep down here for explosive emeralds. I will put one here, and I'll also put another on this side. When they break it, they will blow themselves up. I needed to add this good one too. Now we just have to wait for them to come down here. I will get there before you. No, I will go. It's not me who's going. Get out, get out. Guys, the first prank worked, but there are still nine to go. Oh, what a rage. This won't stay like this. I'm gonna repeat the history of defeating his girlfriend. Hadris, right? Huh, you know what? That's why I'm gonna make the next pranks even worse. And the next thing I'm gonna do is exchange all the emeralds inside this safe or dirt blocks. The way they're doing it, they'll end up poor and I'll be rich. I just have to be careful because apparently there are some villager guards there protecting him. Get away, get away, you can't come near. So frustrating, I haven't even tried to get in yet. What to enter? We won't let you enter. That's what they think because to get in there, I'll come from behind where they can't see me. Now I'll be breaking this with my pickaxe Wait, is this reinforced block? Are you still trying to get in? Get out! Oh, guys, I'm not gonna be able to get in through the wall either, but I have an idea. There in that corner, there are some normal blocks that I can break. I just need to get up there. Oh, but the problem is that there are villagers on both sides. You know what? I'm gonna try to come over here by the side of this house and make a bridge over the top. This way they won't be able to see me. Wow, what a noise from the party is that? I think it's nothing. Hey guys, let me go quickly. They're starting to get suspicious. Put the last blocks here and good. I'm already up here. Now I just need to break it. He's turning all this emerald here into dirt, but to do that i have to break it all first and now they're putting dirt in place oh no our eaves have turned to dirt now we're poor but this prank was still not enough for me to get back at them that's why the third prank i'm gonna do is pull off these big noses of the villagers that's impossible my nose doesn't get out actually there is but to get it i need to make an enchanted scissors to make it i need to heat up two irons first so let me get some stones here to make the furnace and yes heat up now with this here i come and craft my scissors but she's still not taking her nose off the villager look she's still not pulling away. Oh, stop hitting me. I already told you, you won't be able to do that. Actually, folks, for these scissors to work, I need to be enchanting them. That's why I came here to my house, which is destroyed, so I can enchant my scissors. First, I put the lapis lazuli, then them, and now I can enchant with anything that will work. Oh, again? I've already told you that this won't work. Oh no, where's my nose? Now, the next prank I'm going to do is to transform all these iron golems here in the village and zombies to attack the villagers. And to do that, I just need to attract some zombies near the iron golem, but the zombie has to be able to hit it. Go, attack. It's not supposed to come after me. It should go after him. Watch. He's coming here. Now attack that Aaron Golem. Wow, I did not manage. And look what happened to the Iron Golem when it was attacked. And since I've already contaminated several others, now I just have to wait for the villagers to leave their houses for the party to start. Oh no, I think it's already done. I can leave the house now. Oh no, what's that? Oh no, the Iron Golems have turned into zombies. The fifth prank I'm gonna play on them is to throw this potion here that makes them small so I can step on the villagers. To do this, I just need to sneak up behind them and now throw the potion. Look, it worked and they're getting small. Hey, why did I shrink to the size of an ant? And the coolest part comes now, folks, because if I come here... Do not step on me. Actually, I'm gonna step on it. Take that. He crushed us. You might be smart, but we've got your diamonds. And we're gonna burn them in the fire. Villager, these diamonds took me a long time to get. This is for you to stop trolling the villagers. Now they will see. The upcoming pranks will be even worse. For this reason, the sixth prank I'm gonna do with them will be to put a villager inside this prison here. And then I will pour lava over them. I will just leave this hole there in the middle. Now I need to lure them here. He already has some right here in front. Hey, you villagers, can you follow me here? Ignore that silly guy. They're not following me. Ha, huh, since they won't come willingly, I'll have to carry them myself. Let me come here then and get him. Good, and now taking him to jail. Ha, oh, come here, you villager, and you're going to stay inside here. Now let me close. No, no, you won't escape. Stop, stop, stop trying to escape. Get out. What an annoyance. What an annoyance with this villager, you see. Now he's calmed down. I can come here and close it. I won't let you catch me. The guys don't have a problem. He's running away now because I'll catch him in another prank later. What really matters now is that I am finishing off this villager here. To do this, I am going to pour lava inside the prison. He's trying to escape to the other side. You won't escape. I'm going to throw it everywhere. So annoying. Stop making things harder. Oh my god, I'm starting to get annoyed with this villager. Let me grab some more lava here so I can keep playing and he has nowhere to run. I'm going to put one here in this corner. I'll throw one in the middle too. He's trying to go to the middle now. That's all that was missing. Let me put another bucket here. One more in this little corner here too. And another one in this one. Now I think there won't be any space left. Let me wait for all this lava to fall here. I escaped, haha. <laughs> I'm so angry the lava didn't reach him, and the worst part is I can't get any more lava
lava here with me. But I know how to solve this. I just need to come here and grab some more bodice. This will be enough. I'm sure of it. I just need to come here and put the rest of it. And I even built a bridge to reach the middle. No, in the middle. No, there's nowhere to run. Guys, he's trying to run, but it won't work. He's already starting to burn himself out. Ouch. Guys, I've already managed to get revenge on six villagers, but there are still four to go. So the next prank I'm gonna do is build a red circle that they won't be able to get out of. And if they get out of here, it's over. Let me come here then. He's making the whole red border and I need to come here and pull three blocks here too. And in this corner here, I pull one. Now, so they can't get out of here because it's still possible to go out and come in. I came out here. I'm placing a block command with the slash command. Exit, circle, kill. That way, whoever leaves the circle won't survive. But before I activate this command block here, I'll go in the middle to place some emeralds to attract the villagers here because they will kill me. They want to come in and then when they do, I'll activate it so they'll be trapped. Look, it seems like the first one is already coming. I think he saw the emerald. He's already trying to get in there. He stopped beside it. Go on, villager. Then he got in. Now I come here and activate it. I am rich. Now I'm going to call my friends to help me mine these emeralds. I can't get out of here. The only way to get out of this is by coming over here. But if I were you, I wouldn't leave from there. Of course I'm going out. I have to call my friends. Yeah, I told him not to leave. But I still need three more to get my revenge. It's the eighth prank I'm going to do. So it's going to be a machine to swap the villager's body with a chicken's. But to make this machine, first I need to put the copper pieces here in these positions. And now do the same thing on the other side, because this is where the chicken will be. Let me pull him up here, too. And now it's connecting these two sides with a two. Then it will make the villager go to the chicken side and transform into it, and make the chicken become the villager. Ah, uh, but for this to work at the same time and not risk going wrong, I need to pull these seven stones here and pull one right in the middle to this button, because it's with it that I'll be activating this machine. Now I just need to come here, grab a chicken, and put it. Go in there on the right side. Get inside, chicken. Stop. Oh, how frustrating, you see. These animals always try to escape. Stop that and stay inside. Now she's trapped. Now I just need to bring the villager home too. I was listening to myself like, where's this never to find me? He thinks I didn't see him there, guys. Let me come over here then. Catch him before he runs away. Ah, uh, please don't do anything. I promise I won't bring you anymore. Do you think I was born yesterday and just stay in there? Because now I'm going to come here and activate it. And did it work out? Wait, the villager went to the right and here on the left is the chicken. What have you done to me, po, po, po? Hey folks, this here is the villager. What a weird thing. Wait, and the chicken? Wait, is the villager laying egg? Wow, a chicken. I'm starving. But I still need to get revenge on two villagers, so the ninth prank will be right here in the middle of the village. He's making a meteor generator to destroy the whole village with that meteor. But for it to happen, I need to first place these blocks here on the ground. Now putting the blocks on the edge, too. So I put these three ores here in the middle and active with flinch at all four corners. Not here. I put it wrong. I have to put it only on the last ones here and the last one back there. Good. With that, the noise of the meteor is already started, which means it's coming. Look at it up there. Now I have to be quick, guys, as he's coming. He's gonna destroy everything, so let me get away. Just get rid of the villagers from the village. Wow, look at the speed he's coming. Wow, he destroyed the whole village. And now I just need one villager to get my revenge. To get my revenge on him, I'm gonna come here and activate my saw machine. If I right-click on it here, see, it will start spinning, and everything that passes through the middle will be cut. And I'm only gonna show this working when I put the villager. I won't go near there, or else I'll get all cut up. But let me go get him then so I can take him up to the mountains. Wow, look, he's hiding here. He thinks I can't see him. This place here is great for hiding. Oh, Cadris. Hey, guys, I got him. And now I'm gonna be taking it to the machine, but for it to work, I need to put it back here. I just come right here at the end of the conveyor belt, and now I'm putting it in the middle. And just before I show you how many pieces it ended up, I wanna know from you. Comment below how many pieces you think this villager will be in. But now he will go through here on the conveyor belt, and look, he ended up in several pieces. There were one, two, three, four, five, six. And the coolest part is that I can break this villager here, taking him wherever I want. That's it. I managed to do the 10 worst ways to troll the villagers and I got my revenge on them. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye.